And what up guys, this is Robo Rider here. I'm here for day two at Lakeland Harley Davidson for the demo truck to ride multiple models. And uh, I do want to give a shout out, and I know I kept saying her name wrong in my last video. The marketing director here is Randa. I kept calling her Rhonda, so my bad. But this will be the intro for each model that I ride. Um, I will ride multiple today and I'm gonna segment up the videos based on the model. So uh, just pick whichever one you wanna watch. All right, I'm here at Lakeland Harley. Basically you come up here, it's like a menu. You pick what bike you wanna ride. And they got rules here. Y'all can pause and read. And what is your name? Lynn. Lynn, this is Lynn. She signed me up and you get a Harley black card. Yep, one of these. And so what's the process for the demo? Okay, we give you one of these. We need to see your driver's license. Uh, we scan the card, scan your license, enter your information. You hold on to this black card forever. Then whenever you're at a Harley dealership and you want to do a demo ride, you give them this, all your information's in the system, you're good to go. So it's super easy guys and like I said I'm gonna jump on some bikes and uh, give you guys a review. Thanks Lynn. Thanks. Alright this is the safety part that we go over. This is part of, part of the sign up process. You do this like a pre-ride uh, talking to. Make sure we're all safe. Rooster. 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 Rooster's a man with a megaphone. Man with a megaphone. Do some plugging. <laughs> it's a really big phone. There we go. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I guess if another person shows up, that they'll be waving at y'all driving down the parking lot, I guess. Okay, cool. All right, welcome, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the people you see standing in front of you here with the orange and yellow vest, uh, we are Polk County Hog. Uh, we do have one Jonathan here. He uh, works with uh, Lakeland Harley Davidson, one of the Ride Academy instructors. They're helping out with these rides. Uh, we have Dr. Bob here is going to be leading this ride. The gentleman right here raising his hand. Yeah. The other one's going to be kind of intermixed in the group. The purpose for that is, in case we get separated, uh, they will take the lead uh, and get you either called back up to the group or back here to the dealership, whichever comes first. Which leads me to this. You need to obey all traffic laws. If you do get separated and you're at a red light and the light turns green, that doesn't mean that you, you just take off and rip through the gears, drive 100 miles an hour, try to catch up the group. Please don't do that. That is a violation of the law. Again, we got to need obey all laws, okay? Uh, one of the guys will come around and they'll lead you, like I mentioned a minute ago, back to the group or back here to the dealership, whichever comes first. Please make sure that uh, whenever you're riding, that uh, we ride in a snagger formation. Try to keep the group as tight as you can uh, going through... Uh, the roads out here because there's a lot of traffic as we all know and of course the tighter we are the less chances of somebody trying to cut it over in front of you or what have you if somebody does try to cut over in front of you let them go let, let them in uh you're not going to win a battle even with a Volkswagen okay if a Volkswagen bumps into you you're going down the Volkswagen is going to drive off on four wheels so uh you know just don't even worry about it let them in chances are they're not going to be going on the same route we are anyway so just let them go uh, once again no hot rod any that kind of thing no uh, passing no slingshotting none of that kind of stuff um, we do use hand signals. If you see something in the uh, the road, like a, a pothole, there is one of the roads that pothole has gotten deeper since yesterday. I think it just, it, you, if you stand there and watch it, I think you can see the same growing by inch, you know, in a couple hours. It's just a huge pothole. So guys will point that out to you and be in the right track as you turn on Tom Cow Road. But, um, oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Uh, matter of fact, you can almost see China through it, I think. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> Got Thomas all tickled over here, I tell you. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, if there's not any questions, uh, go ahead and load up. Have a good time. Cool. Thank you, Rooster. Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we're going to hop on the breakout now. It's a blue and chrome. Yes, the thing is sick. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. is the man. Wow, so immediately, guys, you know, I say in all my videos, I am six foot five. This thing is super comfortable. You can see immediately, Harley Breakout, blue and chrome. You can see my reflection in this thing. Uh, it's got the smaller gauge with the, in, uh, the indicators here, gas, engine light, oil, battery, all that. Um, it is very similar to what is on the um, Lowrider ST. Uh, I don't particularly like that, but it's very minimal. Uh, we got nice chrome mirrors. The front brake is very tight, but as you can see, forward controls, and that makes my heart happy because I am six foot five. So I love it. And here we go on this group ride. And obviously I need to shut my helmet so everyone can hear me. Close all the vents as normal. Um, so immediately this bike, yeah, it, it just feels more gritty, um, more open and uh, a lot less like Cadillac y, if, if that makes sense, because I rode the CVOs before um, and they were very smooth. You didn't feel the engine vibrations too much. Um, this is definitely a different feel, but ergonomically, guys, stocked from the factory, this thing is super comfy. Um, the nice chrome uh, air intake there. They're going to wave on all these cars so they get out of our way. You can see the forward controls uh, with the basic, very basic Harley pegs. Um, but I, I like this thing, man. Um, right away, though, I will tell you, the seat sucks nuts. <laughs> this thing is hard. Uh, it feels, you know, if you if you just touch it, it feels kind of squishy, but actually sitting in it, it's like, eh. So if I had to give a negative right away, it would be the seat. Um, I would instantly upgrade this seat in a heartbeat if I bought this bike. Um, I will also put the price of the bike here in the video, also in the description below. Um, I think this being, uh, it's a newer model. I know Harley used to make a breakout. They stopped making it. Now it's reintroduced. It might have got reintroduced last year. I'm not sure. But um, it's now a reintroduced model. And I would say it's probably affordable for most people. Um, but as far as comfort goes, man, this thing is nice. And this will be the uh, actual third bike that I'm test riding here. And we're all just going to blow the stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see what gear you're in right here. It's a little tiny number that shows you. And we got to turn this way. Um, none of my videos did I test the horn on any of them because I feel like it's pointless because all Harley horns sound the same. <laughs> so I didn't do that. But um, yeah, I... I I like this thing. It's like a a naked blue and chrome beautiful bike. I could see myself riding this if I had like a, a short commute. Um, like a, a short commute kind of daily ride. Sorry, I had to fix my microphone. I noticed my mic, if it moves in a certain position, I sound like... Uh, like I have a lift like this, because <laughs> it picks up weird. Oh, they're like, Rooster said no passing, and dude's like, Wah. that's cool. He's getting a feel for the bike. I like it, but I guess I'll pick this lane now. But yeah, that, that bike is nice. What do you think? Yeah. Not bad, right? You like that? that? You like that? Yeah. How about the how about the mids? 
Mates? I'm not a fan of mates. I prefer both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a I have a low rider S with forwards. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I think the <laughs> but yeah, I think you guys I have uh, my last video or last review is going to be on that bike. Um, just I, if we can get it in, um, they, they squeeze me on for the last ride just to ride the low rider ST. So I'm excited to try it. Uh, you guys can see it has mid controls. I am not a fan. I am not excited about touching mid controls again. Last time I did that was on Barto Bunny's Lowrider S and I hated it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the uh, the Harley Breakout 2024. Blue and chrome, beautiful bike, comfortable as ever for my legs, my big old long legs. Cause I'm six foot five with, you know, 32, 34 inch inseam. So, for me, it's essential to have forwards or a riding style like that because, you know, I'm so tall. And that's kind of what my content is geared towards is more tall riders. Um, there's YouTube channels everywhere. There's moto vlogs everywhere. Um, I feel like, and I, I, I want to say this, and I may be incorrect, but I feel like I am the tallest moto vlogger there is. Um, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. I know if you're at, you're on this channel, you probably watch other channels. So if you know anyone that's taller than me, please uh, let me know, because I would love to see their content as well. But I feel like you know I am the tallest um, motor vlogger that I know of, and so I wanted to make my content geared towards taller riders, um, so you can watch and and you know get get a feel for bikes and parts and stuff like that if you're tall like me now that's not to say if you're shorter don't watch my channel i hate you because that's not that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying you know there's not there hasn't been a market there's a niche market for me to make youtube content and it's geared for taller riders but everyone's welcome you know i don't discriminate i love everybody and some of the people I've met, like the Polk fam, are actually shorter than me, so, you know, no big deal. Oh yeah, we cruising on the Harley Breakout. It's very fun and blue and chrome. <laughs> yeah, and guys, remember, if you look at my playlist for the other reviews I've done on um, the other Harley models, I wrote all their CVOs that the truck had. Um, you know, I, I wanted to start with CVOs because obviously that's probably what a lot of people are looking at. Um, so... I have other videos in the playlist. You can check those out. Um, just go to my page and go to the playlist that talks about the 2024 Harley demo truck. And you can see the other bikes that I rode. But uh, of all the ones that I rode, the super expensive CVOs, and here I am on this breakout, and I, I wanna say I like this thing more than those bikes. I, I say I wanna say. Um, I love this breakout. My favorite thus far would be the Road Glide ST CVO. I feel like that bike is my favorite due to the looks. Uh, the thing is sick. Um, I would just change a few things on it to make it more mine and more comfortable. But uh, secondary would definitely be this Harley breakout. Um, probably for the looks, the ergonomics, the comfort, and, and definitely the price. Um, I think it's a great bike. Uh, it's probably very similar to, I would say a Fat Bob, but I think it looks way cooler. And you know, if we weren't in this uh, Lakeland Harley group ride, we would straight up take that 
bicycle lane. I mean, we're on a bicycle, right? Kind of with super powerful engine, but it's still a bicycle, right? <laughs> Am I right? I know I'm right. Cause I know you guys would be going down that lane too. We wouldn't be sitting in this traffic, but we're gonna officially obey all the rules. Hey, there's the CVO I rode yesterday. Here we go, bump. Um, to talk about the suspension on this bike, uh, you know, it's a cheaper bike. Suspension is not great. Um, so I don't have much to say about it. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, the Street Glide CVO that I just rode before this, I hated the suspension on it. Um, this is probably ranking right around the same. It's pretty stiff. Uh, however, this bike doesn't have a lot of miles on it, so, uh, you know, the suspension's not broken in, the seat's not broken in, so it's hard to say as far as comfort goes, but, ooh, a little, little pep, a little pep pep. <laughs> but yeah, it's the, the suspension's nothing to rave about, but, you know, most people probably upgrade those things on their motorcycles as well as seats and bars and risers and all that um i would not change the bars or add risers on this bike i like it um i like this this curve wide feeling bar it's just comfy man um my back can be i can i can slouch over if i want i can i can lean back a little um my shoulders are nice and comfy. It's, I like it. Like, I, I think stock, how this comes this way is great. I would immediately change the seat for sure. All right. It's the first time I've gotten split up in the group. First time ever. <laughs> but I think one of the lead guys will come. right up there. I think we can catch him. Here we go. And we caught them. Look at that. <laughs> uh, I was just testing the braking a little bit. It brakes, you know, pretty, pretty standard. Um, this front brake is very, very uh, touchy and tight. You can see I'm barely even moving it. Uh, the rear brake, uh, about the same. Um, you know, the brakes are probably nothing special. You know, the other CVO models I rode had, oh, here's a bump, <laughs> had uh, Brembo brakes. So they're probably a lot better. I don't know what brakes this has at all. Um, you know, I'll put I'll put links in the video below uh, in the price. And obviously you can look it up on Harley's website. Uh, I don't particularly like shooting a YouTube video and talking all technical because I feel like y'all can have the video up and then just as easily have the website right there to see all the specs versus me pretending like I know what I'm talking about. Like, oh, this engine is blah, 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 cubic inches. Like, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I don't want to even pretend like I'm smart and understand those things. Um, I just know the bigger the number, the bigger the engine, the better the engine, the more fun. I think looks-wise, ergonomic-wise, this bike is fun, man. And it's comfortable. Minus the seat, but it's comfortable. My legs, look at my legs. Look at them. They're just, they're, they're so in front of me and nice. <laughs> I know, I'm a forward lover. Some of you are forward haters, especially when you put them on a lowrider S. It's like, how dare you put forwards on that performance bike? Like, shut up. <laughs> Love you all, but shut up. 
All right, we are cruising. Uh, we will be coming up, I think, to that pothole around this corner, I want to say. And my last, uh, that's the spot where I always review the suspension. <laughs> but my last uh, ride, I reviewed the Street Glide CVO. And the dude that was in front of me to my left and to my right, because he wouldn't pick a freaking lane, uh, the lady in front of him almost wrecked in that pothole. Like, I'll show it here. Oh, she's going over that bump. Jesus. She literally almost wrecked. He like slammed on his brakes and went into oncoming traffic. I slammed on my brakes. It had ABS, stopped nice and good. But uh, yeah, that, that would have been scary. And that's why you guys heard Rooster on the, uh, the video uh, that I showed. I put that video in the intro for everyone because it talks about uh, the safety and stuff for, for this ride. But you heard Rooster talk about that pothole. Like a, a pothole. There is one of the roads that pothole has gotten deeper since yesterday. I think it just, it, you, if you stay there and watch it, I think you can see the thing growing by inch, you know, in a couple hours. It's just a huge pothole. So, guys, I'll point that out to you. Be in the right track as you turn on Tom Cow Road. But, um, <laughs> oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Uh, matter of fact, you can almost see China through it, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, he was being funny, but he's also not kidding. Like, that thing, that thing's a pretty good sized pothole. And it could definitely wreck somebody. Yeah, this thing like, and it moves, like you see I'm like zigzagging. It moves very well with your body. Um, so it feels very nimble, very, very nimble. And uh, I'm gonna try to get a nice uh, view of the pothole. I know it's coming up soon. They always point it out. Oh man, this thing is, uh, it's chilling. I'm going 50 miles an hour and it's just like cruising, cruising nice and smooth. I like it. Tom Cow Road, Tamako. I want a taco. <laughs> Tom Cow Road. This is the road, Tom Cow, is where the, the freaking pothole is. There's the pothole right here. Everyone's sticking out their foot. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Man, this, uh, again, I, I said, this is probably not as fast as my lowrider S, but you know, it'll, it'll giddy up. It'll giddy up for sure. Definitely a nice, nice ride. Um, highly recommend this bike. Of all the ones that I rode, uh, this would rank probably number two on my list, um, as far as comfort goes, and me personally liking the bike. Now, some of you may watch this series and be like, you're crazy, those CVOs are, are the best. Go around these bumps. But, you know, this is my personal preference, you know? So, I would say this ranks number two for me, even against the two other CVOs that I rode, for sure. Just this bike feels so gritty and, and basic, and I like it.
and we're gonna come up here because we are almost back to the dealership and we're gonna do the beautiful Revy Rev bomb. You know, probably doesn't translate well in the videos, but here's a nice Rev bomb, Harley breakout. Yeah, <laughs> obviously a lot to be desired with the exhaust for sure. Man, we out here cruising. Man, this breakout, and, and again, I'm, I'm going, I'm not going 70, but if I was going 70, it's, it's nice. <laughs> and huge shout out again to uh, Lakeland Harley-Davidson and Randa, I appreciate you so much for hooking me up and getting me all signed up for this ride. Um, the, the Harley demo trucks are super cool for people that want to experience a bike that they're looking at and get a good feel for it instead of a small dealership test ride. Like you get a long, long review and ride and feel of the bike. Um, and you can really make a good decision on if you want to buy one or not. So I would highly recommend find uh, a Harley demo truck and they, I think they usually do them, uh, <laughs> they usually do them beginning of the year. Um, you know, we're in what, February now? So I know they have a bunch of semis they send around the country full of all their newer models. I would highly suggest attending one. And like the beginning of the video showed, you literally just, uh, you literally just sign up and you get a black card and that's good to use at any Harley, uh, Harley demo truck and just ride bikes. Um, and again, th it's a great way to see if you want to purchase a bike, um, to get a feel for them. Uh, I, th I just think it's a fantastic idea. And I think Harley, uh, did a really great thing by making their demo trucks. Uh, there's not a lot of companies that do stuff like that. And really for them, it's, it's, it's a marketing genius move to do that. Man, we are cruising with this group. So yeah, this is a, uh, if I was going over the speed limit, it would be like 75, <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, this bike probably wouldn't handle uh, too comfortably on like a highway um but a daily driver around a city you know back and forth to work this is a really cool bike or you know a night out on the town um keep in mind it it is a two up there's a two up seat on it however uh it probably would not be comfortable for uh another rider i wouldn't i would not recommend thank you thank you <laughs> the lady backed up for us but it, you know, it is two up, but I, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Uh, maybe for short rides you could, but yeah, I, I can't say how much I like this bike and I'm not being paid. I'm not sponsored. Uh, none of that. Um, uh, you know, I met Randa at the Lakeland Harley dealership. She is their marketing director. I literally came up here yesterday to do the demo truck and I showed up on their last ride and I was too late and she's like hey uh, the last ride's already going out and you know come on by tomorrow and that turned into um she started talking to me about my YouTube and all that and like maybe we're gonna do a, a partnership in the future I know they have a giveaway coming up and stuff like that but um that light was yellow shut up <laughs> But I know they have, you know, some events coming up and maybe I could partner with them. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I, I just, you know, just seeing her there and talking to her and her saying, you know, she did the marketing and stuff and she started talking to me about YouTube. She's like, hey, actually, I'm going to set up a ride for you right now. I'm doing like a private ride with like some of the employees and stuff. So I actually rode with them yesterday 
and she actually filled out my name on the paper for today's ride to get me on all the CVO models and everything. So I can't thank Randa enough for hooking me up. And again, Randa, I'm sorry I was saying your name wrong in my video review yesterday. I kept calling you Rhonda. My bad. <laughs> I'm making sure I apologize on each review video that I messed up your name. But uh, highly, highly appreciative of this opportunity. And like I said, I'm not sponsored by Harley. None of that. My honest, real review of this, this breakout is I absolutely love it. Um, the guy on the, the ST in front of me, he rode this and he said, man, that bike is awesome. So obviously it's an opinion shared by a lot of people. So I would highly recommend this bike. Um, if you're looking for a place to maybe buy it, a uh, Lakeland Harley dealership may have one in stock that you can look into buying. And uh, definitely check them out. Um, but yeah, this has been the review on the 2024 Harley Davidson breakout blue and chrome the thing has been awesome so uh like and subscribe and also look at the playlist for reviews on the other models peace yeah look at that thing The two up seat, got the sissy bar, same sissy bar as my bike actually. Adjustable suspension, 117.